Hey, how y'all doing? Look right down there, make sure it's gone. It's Wednesday, baby, how y'all doing? Hump day, we're halfway through this week. There ain't no telling what the rest of this week's coming. We're already looking at a bunch of bullshit going on this week. Uh, sorry I missed my Monday rant. Uh, life sucks sometimes and you just, uh, you just want to kick dirt in its face and move on. And I did. I had a great time last night at the, uh, at the Blue Dot family meeting last night and at the secret place. And, uh, had good conversation going on last night and I enjoy that. And, uh, uh, I look forward to it again tomorrow night. And, uh, so if you've got the Discord app, baby, come by and say howdy. I got mail, by the way. I got mail. I got a nice card from Ada Brown in Caliente, California. And she sent me a nice little Easter card. This I, I was supposed to do on Monday, and it says, uh, Sending you a little sunshine, a splash of spring, and a whole lot of happy. And uh, she thanks me for my Blue Dot Ranch. She included a nice little donation in there. So we appreciate, appreciate that, Ada. And uh, just keep that blue light shining, baby. That's what our big... Big job is today is to keep that blue light shining. Let me get this out of the way here so I have room for everything. And I got a postcard, baby. It actually came in an envelope from uh, Helen Armstrong in Applethorpe, Australia, baby. And remember I told y'all, if you wanted to, send me a postcard from where you're at, from where you live. And we're going to put that up on the wall up there in, the, uh, in, in our set in the uh, spare bedroom we use for our live shot. He sent me a beautiful postcard, and that is called The Brothers. And they're talking about the uh, those rocks there. They're up there in the uh, in the uh, outback up there in Australia. I mean, that is, Australia is someplace I always wanted to go, baby. It's just, you know. Uh, and this is from the, the Brothers Bald Rock National Park in Australia. So we're going to put that up there. Thank you very much, Helen. We appreciate that. That's the first postcard we got, and we're going to put it right up there on the wall. I also got a card from, from Tony Giacomola. He is in Crescent City, Washington. I mean, California. Crescent City, California. I just talked to Tony today. I've talked to him several times. Here's a, here's a, a picture of Tony, if you don't remember what Tony looks like. He's a, he's a pretty handsome fellow there. He, he also sent us a postcard. Uh, and uh, he also included some little gas money there, and we appreciate it. And he sent a couple of cards from uh, Crescent City, and uh, so we're going to put those up there also. And Tony also included a bumper sticker that he designed and sent to us, and I got it on glass here so you can see it. We have some other stickers we're going to put on this glass and, and put it up there. It says, Blue Dots are hot. And Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin are not. And uh, <laughs> that's a pretty cool sticker that Tony made. Blue dots are hot. Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin are not. Somebody needs to let Donnie know that because, uh, shit, Vlad's his number one man. His, his boyfriend, his best bud. Hey, Donnie, guess what? Your best bud's cheating on your other best bud. You know, Kim Jong-un, the one you fell in love with over there in North Korea. Holy shit, he's messing with your boyfriend today. Showed up there in Russia on his little train. He's going to have a little powwow with Pooty. And uh, you're not invited, Donnie. I wonder who they're going to talk about. I wonder what subject matter is going to come up between Oon and Pooty. <laughs> I would have a big guess it has something to do with Donnie. But Donnie's not interested in that shit. Donnie doesn't want to hear anything about Russia. We heard him today. We heard today. Russia interfered and attempted to sway our election towards Donnie the Dick. And that's a known fact from everything from, from our intelligence agencies a year ago, years ago, that told us that they were interfering in the election, all the way up to the Mueller report, which confirms it again that Russia was attempting to install Donnie as the dictator here. And guess what? It worked. And they did that through social media, through, through the Internet, and made attacks on this nation to persuade people. Well, guess what, baby? They're doing it again. They're doing it again. And guess what? Donnie doesn't want to hear about it. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. And that's, that's a fact. That's a scary thing. Donnie does not want to know anything about the Russians because he equates anything to do with Russian talk about the attacks on our, on our electoral system 
Well, he, he, he completes that to uh, Donnie's illegitimate presidency, which I believe it is. Talk about illegitimate. I ain't seen the birth report saying he's not bored from an orangutan, so I have to assume he is. Mick Mulvaney, baby. Mick Mulvaney, the White House Chief of Staff. In a story in the New York Times, is talking about he has to make it clear to everybody having a meeting in any context with Donnie not to bring up Russian interference in the elections. Whether it be 2016 or 2020, don't bring it up. Donnie doesn't want to hear about it. Mulvaney says it wasn't a great subject and should be kept below his level. Kept below his level. The President of the United States does not want to hear your sob story about the Russians trying to interfere in our elections, trying to hack the systems. I'll tell you what, baby, the Russians did that in 2016. They hacked the DNC. They got the information, the dirt on Hillary or whatever else they wanted to do. The DNC's dirty dealings with, with Sam, they blew it all out there, baby. And if you think for one minute, that they did not do the same thing to the Ru I mean, to, to the Russians, to the Republicans, then you're naive. Yes, of course they did. They attacked the Russians. I mean, the, the, uh, it's the same thing in my mind. Republican, Russian, it's starting to blend together. That's not part of the rant. That's just a mistake in my head. Every time I go to say Republican, I say Russian, and there's a reason for that, I guess. Because that's all you've heard ever since this president was nominated. Russia, Russia, Russia. Everything has to do with Russia. Well, guess what? Donnie doesn't want to hear it. and He doesn't care about it. He, it's going to happen again in 2020. They were telling us, but they're not telling him. Hell, Christine Nelson, the Homeland Security chief, wasn't even allowed to broach the subject with him. Homeland Security? I don't think so, baby. I don't think so. I'm having less and less faith in the security of this country as long as that dick is sitting in our house. As long as he's sitting in there spouting his little lies and shit and throwing little temper tantrums on Twitter. No, I don't feel safe. It is the sin that is Donnie. That is our sin, baby. Donnie the dictator is America's sin. Because we pulled the lever for it. Sure, Russia interfered. Russia put all sorts of nasty shit out there on the internet. Hey, look at this. Look at this Hillary shit. Look at all of this Democratic shit. You can't vote for them. Vote for Donnie because Donnie's going to ch change the, the whole thing in favor of the Russians. And they bought it. We bought it. Americans went in and pulled the lever because they fell for the Russian bullshit they, they got hit with daily on these social media where they were tempted to vote for a con man, but that was the con. That was the whole plan to, that Putin had to get Dottie in there. They didn't want Hillary to do anything in the world because Hillary scared the shit out of him. As a matter of fact, I believe Hillary pretty much scares the shit out of all the Republicans. That's all they can talk about, baby. He's out there doing it again today. Oh, Hillary says they need to investigate Hillary and, and all the, the evil Democrats that are trying to steal my election. Boo-hoo-hoo. On his way out to the plane this morning, go out there and talk to the pharmaceutical lobbyist. On that little way out the door, though, he stops, talk to reporters, and he tells them that he is the most transparent, transparent president and administration in the history of the United States. Here we go again. Oh, my God. Somebody slapping with a bloody piece of liver. He's the greatest in history of this, the greatest in history of that. Everything Donnie does is the most suck-ass shit you've ever heard of. Most most transparent government, most transparent administration, President, are you shitting me? In the same tone you're telling everybody you're fighting every subpoena that comes out of Congress? You're going to try to hide everything while you try to convince your little minions that you are the most transparent president of all time. I have showed him everything. Mueller did a big investigation. I assume he looked at all my financials. My financials are great. I assume he looked at my taxes. There's nothing there. Oh, we're going to fight this shit. I assume. That's what he said. I assume that Mueller looked at my taxes and my financials, and because it's not in the Mueller report, I'm clean. I'm clean. 
There's no reason for him to look anymore. He's throwing him little temper tantrums out there. It ain't working, Donnie. Guess what, Donnie? Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank agreed to agreed to abide by the summons they had. The subpoena to, to produce the records for your Trump Foundation, your Trump Organization, your properties, your your your, your football team. You tried to but they're gonna go back years. Deutsche Bank is gonna roll on your ass, buddy. And I can't wait to see the outcome of that shit. They checked my financials. Everything's great. These are not the draw. You know the whole damn thing. That's the game he plays with the Republicans. To try to convince them that don't pay attention to any of the facts. They don't exist. Things that you see and read are not happening. Remember that line? It's the same bullshit that he's feeding today. There's nothing different. But it's time, baby, and it's time the Republicans of this country, I say it all the time, to turn your back on such a lying ass traitor to this country. The longer you stand with him, the longer you look like a traitor, which makes me believe that those hack attempts by the Russians may have got a little dirt on the Republicans too. Maybe they got a little dirt on Lindsey Graham since that Lindsey all of a sudden has been Donnie's number one protector. Number one, I, I, I tried to just boom, pa, Donnie, this is presidential harassment. All the shit that Donnie tries to pull that we're picking on him. Buddy, if you can't stand the heat, get the hell out of the kitchen. Ain't that the thing? The buck stops with you. If you can't take it, get the shit out, Donnie. Don't sit up there in the White House and whine your stupid ass off on Twitter. Oh, they're being mean to me. Look at the mean people being mean to the prison dick. He was out there talking to him, talking about himself in the third person again. Oh, they're trying to attack Trump. They're trying to do everything to get him to do that. that he... Iowa State Representative Andy McKeon. Evidently, he's one of the longest running state legislatures in the state of Iowa for the Republican Party. Well, all of a sudden, yesterday, he turns around and says he's not a Republican anymore. He's a Democrat now. He's flipping right now, and he points out why. Because of the lying sack of shit that represents the Republican Party right now. The disgrace that has fallen upon them. He doesn't want to be a part of that, baby, and I'm, I'm proud of him for, for standing up and saying so. When are the rest of them in the Senate going to stand up, find their balls, find their spine? Find the patriotism that I am sure you proclaimed to everybody the last time you ran for election. But it's time. It's not, it, 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 it's not time to talk about your patriotism anymore and how you think this is an attack on a, on a lovely, godly president. Are you shitting us? We can all see it. And we all see the Republican Party as they stand by quivering hoping Donnie doesn't make a, a nickname for him. We don't have time for this bullshit, people. We have a country to save. We have a president to impeach, and we can do both of them at the same time, baby. If we can't, we're not any better. We can do it all, and we have to remind those lawmakers of us that that is exactly what they're up there to do, to save this country and to get that wretched piece of shit out of our house. He has disgraced this country with his lies and his bullshit. I read in the National Geographic today that the ocean species are disappearing faster than the land animals, and that the average temperature of the water, the oceans are rising, and those species that, that that lived in the warmer waters of our oceans are now disappearing. They're retracting from their habitat. They're not there anymore. Half of the species, half of the 88 species that they're concerned about are gone. While we sit and destroy this earth, while we sit here and bake our oceans because we can't make up our mind whether or not we believe in science or God, do we believe in what we, what we can prove with science, with facts, with, with data, 
Or do we just believe the guy in the sky is just out there tossing hurricanes around there for fun? And there are those that believe it. I'm sure, oh, oh, what's his name? Preacher believes exactly that. He tells you all the time that God's going to throw a hurricane over there because there's homosexuals over Robert, whatever his name is. I said something about him the other day. He said something about uh, some shit that I wrote down. And now I can't. Uh, Pat Robertson. Yeah, Notre Dame was being burned up because there's homosexual doubling up from hell. Yeah, that guy. He, 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 he believes that. He doesn't believe in the scientists. He doesn't believe that that hot is hot or cold is cold shit. No, he just thinks God does it all. Well, God's not going to save this planet, baby. And I'm not counting on, on the second coming or the rapture or some other bullshit to save this country and this world. We have to do it, baby. It's our responsibility to do it. It's our, we are stewards of this world. We are stewards of this country, baby. We are stewards of the, of the Constitution, of the liberties that are handed by, us, by, the, our, by those documents. And we have to take damn good care of them, baby. Every day we have to keep this up. Every day you have to remind somebody that this fight is not only just for, for your, your town, your state, your country, but for the very world that we live in and how to improve it, not only in climate change, in our own well-being, taking care of our citizens. It bothers me that the, the oceans are warming, because that, that, that you see it down here. We pay attention to hurricanes because that's what we get. Y'all get tornadoes or earthquakes and stuff. We get hurricanes down here on the Gulf Coast, baby. And we pay close attention, and they are getting bigger, and they're getting bigger and stronger. And yeah, it's the temperatures of the ocean, but when you dig deeper into that story, it's not just the storms that produce, it's the killing of the wildlife and the, 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 the species that are in the water. Just like on land, baby, at what point do we just lose everything? Use it up, burn it up, and toss it out. We can't do that. We have a lot to do, baby! Mucho trabajo. We got a lot of work to do, and it continues every day. That's why I get out here every day. That's how come I pump the pom-poms every day. Because we can't forget what's at what's stake. Not only the, 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 the attempts on our electoral system, the, the attack on our, on our climate, the attack on our citizens and those wishing to find refuge here. For Donnie, it's all about the chaos. It's all about the fight. It's all about shit. Throw them shit. Keep them mad. Keep them upset. That's Donnie. That's all he's got. We need to look past that, baby. We've got a lot to offer this country. The Democrats and their agenda will save this country while the Republicans do nothing but try to rape and pillage every dime they can get out of it and squeeze it and kill it. Everything Donnie touches dies, baby. And he's got his fingerprints all over this nation. And we need to dust it, baby. Get him off. Scrub him off. Call the fumigator. Get his ass out. And impeachment is the fastest way to do it. We may not be able to carry that into the Senate and get him removed, but we can damn sure make sure that the Republican senators hear every word of the disgusting shit that that man has done. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. John Brunabal, Blue Dot in Texas, baby. Keep that blue light shining. That's what it's all about. Be proud of it. Let it shine everywhere it goes, everywhere you go. And John Bernabeu on Facebook, John Bernabeu Speaks, Blue Dot Family. <laughs> Go by there and lend your opinion uh, it, 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 and be part of the conversation. At Blue Dot in Texas, in, uh, on Twitter, out my truck window, anywhere else, we can get the message going, baby. Be faithful. Keep your light shining, baby. Be proud of, of the fight that we're fighting because we're fighting the good fight, baby. And... Uh, I'm proud to have y'all with me. Y'all have a good day. We'll see y'all tomorrow night at the family meeting. Same place, same channel. It's a secret. See you then.